1945. During World War II, he was probably one of the least known participants as a Marine private, but Dr. Sidney Phillips left his mark and a legacy for the city of Mobile and the Gulf Coast. Dr. Phillips passed away today at the age of 91. While some will remember him as their favorite family doctor, Dr. Phillips gained fame along with his sister Catherine while being profiled in the PBS documentary Ken Burns' The War. Later, he would again be profiled in the HBO miniseries The Pacific by Tom Hanks and Steven Spielberg. News 5's Bill Riles was fortunate enough to be able to spend some time with Dr. Phillips in recent years and has this tribute tonight. Humble, patriotic, and a keen sense of humor. Those are just a few words that come to mind to describe Dr. Sidney Phillips. The Marine Corps and World War II veteran became an almost household name beginning with a highly acclaimed movie about World War II. Ken Burns, The War. My father was very patriotic and I felt like really expected me to join the military. And he did, graduating from Murphy High School in 1941. He shortly after enlisted in the Marine Corps. After boot camp, he was sent to a little Pacific island, Guadalcanal. His experience there were chronicled in a book by lifelong friend and fellow Marine Eugene Sledge. With the old breed, would also serve largely as the basis of the Steven Spielberg, Tom Hanks, HBO series, The Pacific. Of the book and the series, Phillips said, uh, Favorite part was simply that uh, I was included in it because if there was ever a nobody in World War II, it was a uh, PFC in the Marine Corps. Actor Ashton Holmes portrayed him in the movie with Phillips taking tongue-in-cheek delight every time he got to talk about it. Character over here that plays me, doesn't he look exactly like me? I mean, <laughs> it couldn't have been a, a better choice. Uh, I, I tell everybody, that he looks more like me than I do, that he's perfect for the uh, part. He's handsome, young, debonair, and uh, uh, reminds me of me perfectly. And yes, I'm very pleased with, with him. All those things you were. When you <laughs> exactly. They All, still are. They still are. <laughs> While many in Mobile were familiar with Phillips as their favorite family doctor, Hollywood soon made him even more popular. He remained endearingly humble. I tell you, that's pretty heady stuff for uh, uh, 17-year-old PFC to be involved in. During that time, Phillips decided to join his friend Sledge and write his own book, You'll Be Sorry. It was about his exploits as a young Marine. The title refers to the message young recruits got as they arrived for basic training. He said he was happy for what the movies and the book seemed to bring out in people. What thrills me is the revival of patriotism that's resulting from all this. That's what I was hoping would happen. But as humble and patriotic as Dr. Sid Phillips was, let's talk about that sense of humor. Look no further than his backyard, where for years you would find this train car, once decorated like the one in the television series The Wild Wild West. So, who has a train car? Exactly. <laughs> Popular with fellow Marines who visited for reunions. Were, were they fighting over who gets to stay in the, in the train car? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this sign posted on his driveway, or perhaps his answering machine. You have reached the residence of the old fossil, Dr. Sid Phillips. You are lucky he is not in and you don't have to talk to him. If it is imperative that you reach him, call the local bars and body houses. Bill Riles, News 5. Now, we do not yet have funeral arrangements for Dr. Phillips, but we will pass them along as soon as they become available. We spoke with A.B. Grantham, a former commandant with the Marine Corps League, about Phillips' passing. He told us all the Marines loved hearing him tell stories and that he was a very respected man. He was a source of inspiration and pride to young and old Marines alike. Everyone loved Dr. Phillips. And the nation suffered a great loss today, grievous loss, and the United States Marine Corps did as well.